coming on a little bit early just to uh, build audience and make sure that I'm looking decent, you know. So uh, I hope everybody is doing well. So I will be coming on in about uh, one, actually I'm on, but I will be beginning uh, this uh, presentation in about one minute, just waiting for a few people to join. Hello, I see a couple of you on uh, Periscope, thank you, and a few people coming on to FB Live. I am uh, broadcasting simultaneously on Facebook Live and Periscope. Uh, for those of you who are Periscope watchers and Facebook Live watchers, yeah. So, <clears throat> and yes, I am doing it on two phones, just in case anybody uh, is wondering. Uh, apparently, you cannot do a dual presentation uh, on one phone, or at least if you can, I don't know how to do it. So, uh, we are on both Facebook Live and Periscope, and we are on uh, two different phones. So I'm going to get started, and I'm, I'm very, very happy that you're all here. I'm happy that I am back live. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I was uh, sending out recordings of prior shows because I was as sick as a dog. Now, if my, if my uh, kids were in here, they'd be laughing at the fact that I just said sick as a dog. Not quite sure where that came from. I should look it up. Sick as a dog. Why do people say that? I am still, uh, I still have a little <coughs> cough. Perfect timing. I still have a little cough. Uh, but I am 100% uh, better uh, versus a couple of weeks ago. I was in trouble. And uh, I know a lot of you out there had uh, similar things going on. So, uh, I want to talk to you today about why uh, why you ought to have life insurance on your kids, uh, and it's it, it may not be what you think, uh, and I know what goes on out there, and and I've been asked a lot about this over the last few weeks. I don't know why people are thinking particularly about this issue. I, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's because they're spending more time with their kids. It's the end of the year. Uh, people are thinking about family-related issues. Uh, I see my friend uh, Rob just came on the line there. By the way, if anybody needs their estate plan updated or done from scratch, trusts, wills, power of attorneys, and all that, uh, go see Rob Miles in Woodland Hills. Uh, he is a fantastic uh, lawyer and an even better man. So, uh, uh, hi, Rob. I'm glad that you're on. Uh, so, the, the whole issue with life insurance on kids is, uh, is kind of, it's interesting because uh, in one way, it's a little creepy. Like, let's face it, uh, who wants to buy life insurance uh, on a kid? Hey, my, my kid's not going to die, number one. Number two, if my kid dies, I don't need money as a result of that and, and so forth. So, let's just say that it's not about that. Okay, we're, certainly. It's, that's not why you're buying life insurance on your kid. Uh, now, what is the second thing that people will often say? They will often say, well, uh, it's, and when I say people, by the way, I'm talking about the agents. And so um, I, I want to say to agents out there, the sale, uh, for use of a better word, I'm going to say the sale. Uh, for you is not to talk about the cash values and the potential of funding college and maybe using the money to buy a house down the road, uh, buying the kid's first car, paying for a wedding. Those are all benefits. There's no question about the fact that those are all benefits. But, you know, uh, something happened last week and, and it really drove it home for me. And, and this kind of thing happens all the time. Uh, and, and that is um, that uh, a friend of mine, his, uh, his kid, got smashed in the head. I mean, let's just put it plainly. He got smashed in the head. Uh, the knockout game that's going on uh, probably all over the country. These sick morons 
uh, who go around surprising people around a corner, essentially, and, and seeing if they can knock them out. So he got a fractured skull and a hematoma and a busted eardrum, and he'll be fine. But he's in the hospital, and he's not fine currently, and of course his parents are besides themselves, and so on and so forth. Uh, but the one thing that has happened to him that nobody really thinks about, honestly, and why would you, uh, is that at least for the time being, uh, that 15-year-old kid is uninsurable. And that is the biggest issue uh, that we ought to be thinking about when it comes to life insurance. I, I was talking to uh, one of the women who's in my mastermind group today, and I have a mastermind group uh, plug, plug, shameless plug, plug, uh, a mastermind group for uh, female life insurance professionals. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, but I was talking to her and I was saying, look, um, you know, but do most people know what it is that buys life insurance? Now, this is for everybody, not just kids. Uh, now, the thing that people say that buys life insurance, because this is what buys everything else that we pay for, is money. But with life insurance, money is not what buys it, at least not first. The first thing that buys life insurance is health, because if you don't have health, you can't buy life insurance. I don't care how much money you have. If you are not healthy enough, if you have major heart problems, if you have major diabetic issues, if you have major overweight issues, if you have cancer history, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of different things that can make you uninsurable. If you don't have good health, you cannot buy life insurance. So you may be the wealthiest person in the world and be uninsurable. Now, well, how does this relate to having life insurance on kids? Well, it relates this way. You buy a life insurance policy on a one-year-old, a five-year-old, a 10-year-old, or a 15-year-old, and they have insurance for the rest of their life. But moreover, they have the ability to buy insurance for the rest of their life. Now, depending on the company that you buy from, and there are some really good companies out there, Mass Mutual, New York Life, Northwestern, I see my friend Michelle Sakunian, if you need a good New York Life agent, uh, if you need a good agent, period, Michelle would be the person to see. Uh, you can look her up on Facebook. Uh, but the life insurance um, will also guarantee future life insurance purchases. So, for instance, you could buy an insurance policy today and you could have the ability to buy a million dollars of additional life insurance during your young adulthood. A million dollars of life insurance. Now, imagine from, let's say, 25 to 45 years old, you are maybe getting married, you are having children, you are having bar mitzvahs, you are having baptisms, you are having uh, 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 weddings, you, you're doing all sorts of things, and you need to be uh, properly protected, or at least your family needs to be properly protected. So you are a 10 or 12 or 15 year old kid, and you're not thinking about this stuff, but you have parents that are 30, 40, 50 years old, and assuming that they are already properly insured, and I want to be sure to make this point very clear, you cannot, in most situations, most insurance companies will not insure your children if you are not first properly insured. Makes sense, right? I'm going to insure my children, but I, as the adult, don't have proper insurance coverage. That is not going <coughs> to, excuse me, that's not going to happen. And if you're talking to any decent agent, they're not going to allow it to happen. They're not going to be involved in it happening. Okay, And a decent insurance company will not allow it to happen. So you have to be properly insured yourself. But assuming that you are, and you say, well, I'm going to put 50 bucks a month into a life insurance policy that builds cash value and so forth for my child, but also what it is going to do in addition to what I mentioned before, paying for college and a wedding and a car and a house and other things that it might be able to do, it is going to guarantee that this child can buy maybe a million dollars of life insurance when he or she grows into an adult and needs to buy life insurance to protect his or her family. That is an invaluable gift. 
So I understand, and I am going to make a judgment and get on my high horse here, I understand that it's important for you to buy the latest uh, iPhone, uh, iMac, uh, Android, or whatever it is that you think your kid needs and or wants, and I would say that it's more of a want than a need, but what they need is they need you to be an adult. And as an adult, you need to do things for that child that they may not recognize as things that are good for them until 20 years passes. And one of them is to buy life insurance. Now, you may well think that I am uh, here selling you life insurance, but that is not what I do today. So I am telling you to go see your local life insurance agent and specifically your life insurance agent that will talk to you about excellent, high-grade, investment-grade life insurance policies. Those life insurance policies that have been around a while, like maybe a 100 years, that you can rely on, with life insurance companies that have been around maybe a 100 years that you can rely on, that will be around a 100 years from now. So in 20 years, when your child needs that life insurance protection, needs to borrow from the cash value, needs to buy additional insurances, or gets sick and or hurt, and as a result, needs to have that life insurance be self-completing, and ask your life insurance agent what that means, then uh, you need to go find that person and do that now. And your 0, 1, 2, 5, 10, 12, 15-year-old child uh, will be very, very, very grateful when they're 25, 30, 35, and 40 years old, uh, particularly if they grow up with some of the issues that many of our peers, I'm 54, uh, have grown up with. Uh, We're overweight, we have high blood pressure, we have high cholesterol, we have diabetes, we have bad backs, we have migraine headaches, we have stress, we have arthritis, uh, we have, God forbid, cancer issues. We have many, many issues, many of us, that would either prevent us from buying insurance or would make it very expensive. So one of the things, or one of the many things, that buying life insurance on a young person does is not only to guarantee the insurance coverage that they have, but also to guarantee the purchase of future coverage at the rating that they have received when they bought the coverage to begin with. Now, not the premium. You can't buy life insurance at a five-year-old's rate when you're 40. But what you can do is buy it at a preferred rate at 40 if you received the preferred rate when you were five, even if you are uninsurable. Let me say that again. Even if when you get to 40, you are otherwise unable to buy life insurance at any premium, you will be able to buy the life insurance that you guaranteed or that your parents guaranteed when you were five even though you are uninsurable. And that is a benefit, is a value that you cannot equal with any other product. So when there are discussions with your stockbroker or your realtor or your bond broker or whoever it is that's selling whatever it is that is supposedly going to compete with the life insurance program, and it may beat the pants off the life insurance in terms of the rate of return upon which your premiums are going to receive and grow to, it cannot, there is nothing, zero, zippo, nada, that can guarantee one's insurability into the future other than life insurance. So I will say to you as consumers and I will say to you as agents who are selling to consumers, if you are agents, Do not argue and discuss rate of return, argue value, argue about the value of having a life insurance policy and convince your adult clients that they want to buy life insurance on their little children, even if today they don't really need to. And the reason is insurability. It is not cash value, it is not tax deferral, it is not borrowing 
in the future, even though those are also benefits, but the primary benefit is insurability. And your consumers, your friends need to know that. So when you talk, when you listen to these morons on the radio, like Susie Orman, who, ah, I should be fair, she's not really a moron, she's just a moron when it comes to life insurance. And Dave Ramsey is not a moron, he's just a moron when it comes to life insurance. I'm sure there are some other things about which they are both morons. But life insurance is a big one. They don't seem to understand how it works. They don't seem to understand why it's important. So I will say to you that when you listen to those folks and they tell you to go out and buy term insurance and invest the difference, that they don't understand what life insurance is all about. Uh, having been an, a licensed insurance agent for 32 years and having sold the product for 25 years, I assure you that I do. And I have paid death claims uh, on both adults and children, unfortunately. Uh, I've also seen the benefits of adults today who were children when I sold them the policies who have been able to buy insurance that they cannot otherwise buy. So this is not something that I'm telling you may happen in the future. I'm telling you that it is happening today. And it is happening today because agents like me for the last 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, sold policies those long ago, that long ago, and people are benefiting from them today. It is difficult. It is difficult to think about the future. And it is more difficult to think about paying money for things that will not happen until the future. It takes a tremendous amount of character and forethought. And I am just suggesting to you that this is something that you ought to think very seriously about and then do it. So, I appreciate the time. It is 5.15. And uh, as you know, I work hard to stay on time, start on time, finish on time, and so forth. I thank you for listening. I know I was a little bit on my soapbox, but this is a subject about which I feel very strongly. And I look forward to any questions that you may have. If you need referrals to good agents, please let me know, and I will make sure that you get to people that know what they're doing. This is Neil Palacci with the Wealth Creator Company for Women. I thank you. Have a great week, and be well.